To change your Minecraft account password, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our web browser and you want to go to minecraft.net and I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click on the login link just in the top right hand corner and then you'll be taken to the login screen. From here, you want to click on sign in with Microsoft if you've merged your account to a Microsoft account and then you want to go ahead and log into your Microsoft account just as you normally would. Now, if you've completely forgot your password, you want to click on forgot your password and then you'll be sent an email link where you can go ahead and choose your new password. But if you know your password and you just want to change it, you want to go ahead and log in with your account. So once you are logged in, you'll be taken to the back end of your Minecraft account. So to change your password, all we need to do is click on the My Account tab just on the left hand side menu. And here you'll be greeted with two boxes. So here it says editing your personal information or security must be done via your Microsoft account, which we used to sign into earlier. So you want to click on the link just below it. You will then be taken to the back end of your Microsoft account, which will look like this. So to change your password, all we need to do is click on the change password link in the top right hand corner. You will then be prompted to verify your identity. You will then be taken to the change your password page. So all we need to do is enter in our current password just at the very top. And then you want to enter in your new password in these two boxes below. In this case, we're going to be using our NordPass password generator to do so. And if you are interested in this NordPass password manager, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get 50% off. So once you're ready, you want to click on save and your new password will be successfully changed. So the next time you launch Minecraft, you may need to log in using your new account information. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.